Speaking of Texas, uh, guys, we do have the Big 12 championship game this week. Um, and we have the Longhorns and Oklahoma State facing off at Jerry World in Arlington. Um, so, you know, rather than have y'all break this game down, let's just say the Longhorns, they're favored, they win. Uh, does that put them in the college football playoff? What do you think, Kev? I think so. Uh, for me, I mean, I, when I look at them, especially how they've played recently and, and later on uh, or the second half of the season, I, they look really strong. And I think they des- they've they earned a spot in that college football playoff. Uh, I mean, they, they've they've have some really good wins on their on their schedule this season. That I think An Alabama win in. looms large for sure. Huge, huge. And I mean, that's when we're, when we're talking about which of these two teams would you put in between Alabama and Texas? Well, it's Texas one. To me, it's pretty simple. You know, yeah. it's the head to head matchup. Uh, but I know there's a lot more that goes into it. You know, of course, strength of schedule and there's a lot then of course they're going to want some sec representation yeah you think the playoffs so (laughs) i think that's not going to bode well for texas but for me yeah i i I do think texas has played their way into the playoff if they win zach i I feel like i know your answer already but go ahead (laughs) i i I think i'm wearing a a burnt orange undershirt today um (laughs) yeah i yeah if they win they're in that they they deserve it they should be in and i think that uh texas is a team that if they get in the playoff i think that they can give any team in the top six you know a uh run for their money even georgia even alabama now i'm an agent of chaos and i'd love to see alabama win and oregon win and iowa win especially iowa um so i'd ra- i just want to see pure chaos and just you know burn it all down but uh <laughs> for for texas if they win uh, they should be in and, I love and the they're going to gonna run for a uh, they're going to go for a national title this year. I love the fact that you are a fan of chaos. Uh, we had, I have to tell you about a copy editor we had one time who was also a big fan of chaos. But Root for the storyline, it will be just, you know, I, I want those 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 people in, uh, you know, the Texas hotel room that the committee, uh, I want them to sweat. They need to, have, you know, yeah. make some hard decisions. Don't make it easy. What complicates matters for texas is just the fact that there are so many uh undefeateds this year uh you know and then some really good like one loss teams um including themselves obviously um so yeah uh, i do think it helps texas's case that it's texas and it hasn't been in in a while and um you know, if if it were basically anybody else in the Big 12 with the same credentials, I'm not sure they're getting in just because brand name, you know? I mean, I, mm-hmm. I, I think brand names matter in this college football playoff thing. Uh, I mean, I'm thinking back. So Zach asked me the other day, Kef, you, you may have followed this back then, but he asked me why is why is our podcast one true podcast, <laughs> and I and I was telling him about how you know back in the very first year of the college football playoff, the Big Twelve had this slogan one true champion, and uh, and it was a whole big mess, big kerfuffle with Baylor and TCU and which team they were going to promote. Baylor beat TCU, but TCU was ranked ahead of them in the CFP most of the year, and then uh, the very last week. They all won. Baylor won big. TCU won big. TCU fell from fourth to sixth, and Baylor leapfrogged them. And I guess they finally said, oh, I guess maybe the head-to-head does matter, and put Baylor at fifth. But I think Baylor and TCU got left out because they weren't brand names. And Ohio State ended up getting the fourth uh, spot and ended up winning the national championship. So there you go. There's a little history lesson. I, I mean, not that ancient history, but uh yeah uh, odd history for sure because when i was on on zoom when it was pulling up i was like one true i wonder what that is so i'm, I'm actually really glad you brought that yeah up. yeah so, so it's, it's good to know it's it's a little wink and sort of uh a lot of baylor fans baylor and tcu fans in particular remember one true champion a lot because it was just it was such a joke and bob bowlsby got just you know uh dragged for it you know uh and it became just sort of this big big joke and so we adopted it as our podcast name and and it lives on but uh yeah there you go Uh